Hi guys, welcome to this Structural BIM tutorial and today I'm going to show you how to detail a little steel platform with some stairs and railing. This request came through my Facebook page so if you've got any things that you want me to show you just send me a message on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter or indeed my YouTube. So um, I've got some pre-positioned concrete footings so these are just isolated footings and then I've got some <clears throat> CAD line work that's going to set out the stairs so I'm going to jump straight in to the home tab extended modeling and jump straight to the straight stair so here I'm going to specify the input method so it's going to be the default and then I'm going to specify the start and the end point so the start point is going to be the bottom of my CAD line and then up to the top and then the justification I'm going to set it to the right hand side of that CAD line so that will launch the macro to position the stairs so there we have it uh, let's jump in to the stairs so in this instance I want to use the standard definition by length and height if we have a look at the stringer I want to change the stringer size to let's say a 230 by 90 so just a little bit chunky and then the step I'm going to use by formula so it's going to take the rise and the going divider and I get six steps um, the thread type I'm going to go with one because that's the type that I want and I want to bolt it into the side so if we have a little look underneath you can see that's currently the detail I'm going to go with a welded and bolted connection and then I'm going to change the bolts to 16 and that will update all the bolts so I'm going to go into the thread dimensions you will see the thread is controlled by the grating so when we look at the thread type you will see that it's working upon this particular size so when you go into thread dimensions that's why it's grayed out and you cannot control the width if we look at thread dimensions 2 this is where I can control the size so I want to make this <coughs> 85 and then you can see actually you could start to control so if I set that to 50 it starts to change and set out the bolts the way that I want <clears throat> you can see that I've got a corner finish so I can actually specify the size of that corner so I'm pretty okay with that um, I'm gonna just orbit out and what I want to do is I don't want a landing on it so in this instance I'm gonna go to step at the top <clears throat> Or sorry go to landing and tick off create front tick off create rear so I'm just positioning the standard uh, stair with no landings so that's pretty much the way that I want it at the minute um, so I've got just got a standard channel stringer with a grating thread which is then bolted so I'm going to close out of this, so that's my standard stair. I'm going to go into the tools palette, I'm going to choose joint copy, select the stair, select the input method and then position it from here to here and then justify it to the left. And you will see that it, the joint copy will replicate that stair into position and then enter to finish and that's the stair on both sides. So next I want to connect up the beams, so I'm just going to go to my beam drop down choose the channel and I'm going to draw it from the top point here across to here and then I right click to position the beam and you can see that I'm going to go with the 230 by 90 and I'm going to update and change its position so you can see I'm just going to mirror it across and I'm just going to set the model roll as a beam I'm going to repeat the process so I draw it from here to here right click again just update the positioning on the beam make sure the section is correct and then also set the model roll so now that we've got all the beams in position I can go to the tools features palette use the miter tool and I can select one beam and the other and they will miter together go to the cut tab and then apply a weld repeat that command so I put it on so miter the four stringers you could use a joint copy but again I'm just going to quickly miter the four 
beams in position and then one final mitre one to two and then a cut and then create the weld now i want to put on the platform at the top so i'm going to go to my ucs palette use the ucs at object select my stringer and position it at the top then if i go to my grating panel you will see here i've got a second one down which is a variable grating and i can draw it from that point to there so it's sitting across the top of the beams and you'll see that's probably what i want so it's a 30 mil redmond fisher grating that's all pretty good now to look at the connections at the bottom so if we launch our connection vault you will see there is a stair anchor angle that is down positioned under miscellaneous you'll see a stair anchor angle you select the stringer right click do i want to select a reference in this case i'm going to go no and it positions the anchor angle and what i forgot to do because it positions it based on the ucs i'm going to reset my ucs first then use stair anchor angle select the stringer no reference point and it positions the stringer like that what can be useful is if you just look to the side you will see what's happening i tend to go into a wireframe mode select my connection right click advanced joint properties and then i can go in and have a little look and see what way i want to configure this particular angle so click into general so the first thing i want to do is create a vertical profile you'll see that that will then create the vertical channel section and then we need to look out the layout value so first of all if we set the abasement adjust the base level to zero you'll see it's here but now if we take this back to zero but if i go a minus 200 or plus 200 you will see that it will start to switch up and move that into position if we go back to a wireframe or to realistic you will see it's now put in that little angle what i now want to do is look at the actual connection to the base so i'm going to go to general anchor and hold so i'm going to again 16 mil anchor anchor distances you can see if we want two anchors or we want one or we can actually change how that may connect to the stringer so if i go i want that bolted as well and then the bolts to the string i'm going to say there's one so that bolts it in there and what i want to do is move the position of that anchor so if we look at the anchor distances you will see that it's on the gauge line but if i take that off and then we can increase that out to 50 we now have that anchor positioned where we want so now that we've got one in we can use the joint copy feature again to copy this this connection from here to here right click no you'll see because we've used a joint copy it's taken an exact replica but we select the joint right click advanced joint properties and then we just need to switch the side on the connection so if we go to the angle and position that single on the right it then reverses it round the system so once we've got them into position we can use a joint copy again so we select the joint from here and we position it on the right hand side of our platform and again if you get it wrong you'll see that you can swap it round the so general angle and then just switch it to the right side then we need to do a joint copy of the final connection and then position it in that position so there we have our platform detailed with it connected down to the concrete isolated foundations so the next thing i'm going to do is put on some railing so i'm going to select my railing tool from extended modeling select stringer on the stair on the left stringer on the platform and then the stringer on the stair on the right the start point is going to be set out from here and the end point when i orbit round we will go here no to a relative 
nosing point and then it will go off and put in a handrail on top of our beams so now that we've got a handrail in some quick changes that we need to do you will see there is a kick plate so if we go to our handrail select the kick plate tab and then we just position that on the left that puts it on the inside of the posts and what I want to do as well is just take the minus 200 off so it takes it off at the start and at the end so it just runs it to the actual post so now that we've got that we want to look at the post fixing and the connection type I'm going to go with a plate with a bolt and you'll see that this will now position a default plate like this so if we look at the parameters so first of all I want to look at the length of the plate is 200 the width is 75 we could go and match it to the width of the of the stringer so it's not 900 it's actually 90 and then the fixing parameters so we just go one number line that will then center the bolt so you will see the bolt is now centered on the stringer and then I'm going to just going to drop them down to a 16 there and we just zoom that back and you'll see we've got the fixing on the slope got the fixing on the top so once we've got that in position I want to look at the handrail and I want to look at the handrail at the start and the end and I want to do a loop return so I want to loop it here and I might want to drop that down to 500 so it's just in line with the middle handrail same in the end so a loop return and again 500 so that gets our handrail up and down once we've got one in position we can then use a joint copy select the handrail and then position it on the three beams on the other side select the start point select the end point no to a nosing and that will duplicate that round so the final thing on this model is to cut out the grating around the base plates here so I'm just going to go into wireframe for this set my UCS to world go to my features palette and use a rectangular contour so I'm going to cut out my grating around this plate here go to the contour and then just set make sure that's set to 5 so it gives a 5 mil tolerance repeat the process on the other three plates and then final step and then we contour around that final plate cut that out let's go and have a little look go into realistic mode and there we have it cut round the base plates for the handrail so that's pretty much it quick and easy put some stairs in add some manual beams the grating and then configure the handrail to suit and there you have the platform detailed very quickly using advanced steel so join me again soon don't forget to like and subscribe and thank you very much for joining me